Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Oh, it's good to be home. I have been home since Friday afternoon, and I have just had the best time with my babies. I went and picked up Molly, went over and saw Valen Dawson, and of course, I flew home with Anna, so that was nice. And uh, Haley and Jared, everybody's doing great. Um, let's see. Oh, I wanted to tell you first that this is not a live. This is a pre-recorded video because I am spending the evening with the babies and then I fly out Monday morning. So I decided, remember I, we talked about mystery stamping. We're going to talk about that tonight and I'm going to explain it all to you. It's going to be so much fun. So, um, Tonight, I'm going to be going over and watching the Super Bowl with Haley and Jared and Val and Dawson. I just dropped Molly off earlier today. I had the girls overnight, which was super fun. We all went to the mine shaft. I don't know if you guys have this in your area, but it's a huge arcade with a huge eating facility. And I have to say, I was really impressed with the food. Like I would go back there just to eat dinner. It was super good. We had an Italian buffet, which was just delicious. The kids, Molly and Val had a blast playing arcade games and sweetest little thing. We were, me and Val, we were watching this little girl. We don't know her, but we were watching her play a game and um, she didn't get, it was the claw game, I think. And she didn't get her little alien doll that she wanted. And we're like, oh, dang, she took this little rubber toy thing that she had gotten with her tickets and she gave it to Val and it was the sweetest thing ever and today Val I can't remember what she named it but it was super cute and she's like where's Sue or whatever she was calling it so we had a really good time last night I have had a much needed fantastic vacation loving and hugging and kissing and smooching and spoiling those grandbabies oh my goodness I'm gonna share um by the time you watch this video, I will have shared Haley's weekly video of the kids on this on my Facebook page that you guys go to to get my links. And um, she does these videos every week. I have to ask her how she does them because she just cranks them out like that. Super cute. Some of the fun that we had this weekend will be on there. And I found my crown. I usually only wear it when I'm live, you guys, and I'm not live tonight, but I found it. I put it on. It feels so good. I just have to wear it. <laughs> I don't have a John report except that John, I believe is home. I haven't seen any movement over at their house. Now, when I got to my house, you guys remember, I told you that we were having the hallway front and back door remodeled. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. And it's pretty dirty yet from, you know, remodel dirt. And, um, I will give you guys a tour maybe next time I'm home, we'll see, but I will definitely give you a tour so you can see it at some point. It's so pretty. And um, Fred is my handyman. You guys know, I talk about him from time to time when he's here. And um, Fred said, you guys now have a sleeper house. And I'm like, what's that? That sounds like intriguing, right? It's a house that doesn't look like much from the outside, but it's really pretty inside. That's exactly what Fred said. And I'm like, I have a sleeper house. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I had to share that with you guys. Okay, so I'm going to tell you all about mystery stamping. I hope you guys will participate. It's something super fun to do. And then I have a stack of mail here. Oh, so exciting. And it's it's beautiful, beautiful cards. I'm going to share these with you guys too, so you can see what I got. And um, I am headed back to Florida tomorrow morning. Um, I found out that my cousin who owns the condo that we're renting is flying on the same flight with me to go down. So that'll be kind of nice. He can give me a ride from the airport back to Steve. So, and Steve's been enjoying his weekend. He's went golfing. It's a little cooler there this weekend. So I don't really mind being gone. And it's definitely cool here, 27, little nippy. But um, I was just so grateful to be home. And my mom came over. Oh, I almost forgot Gigi came over and she spent the day with us on Saturday. So that was really fun. I'm glad she um, came over. Haley made breakfast for us yesterday and today because I don't even have any milk in the fridge. Like, ew. I did stop at the store this afternoon and get one of those little bottles so I could have some hot chocolate. <laughs> Shh. 
<laughs> I really don't need the hot chocolate, but you know. <laughs> okay. I am going to move my camera. Here's what I'm going to do for you guys. I know a lot of you have played mystery stamping. A lot of you on my team always play mystery stamping. This is something that I have prior to my team meetings every month. And remember, if you join my team, no matter where you live in the United States, Hawaii, Alaska, you can participate in the team meeting. We do it via Zoom, just like I'm doing this right now, only it's live. And um, I do a mystery stamping the weekend before our team meeting and everybody that participates gets entered in a drawing to win a fun prize. So um, I just think mystery stamping is something fun. It sparks your creativity. It makes you think outside the box sometimes. And um, I don't know, I love doing mystery stamping. So I am going to share my screen with you so that you can see what the clues are going to look look like. I'm going to show you how to find them because sometimes if you're not um, a techie guru on Facebook, it can be a little challenging. So I'm going to show you exactly how to find things on Facebook. And um, then we'll talk a little bit more after I give you a tour. Hang tight. Okay, so now we're on Facebook, right? And I am using a computer. Things look a little different on a phone. They look a little different on an iPad or a Kindle or a tablet. But the gist of it is pretty much all the same. So every time I go to Facebook, sometimes I just scroll through my newsfeed, which is what I would be on right now. I just came on, I clicked on this little house right here. That's my newsfeed. But a lot of times I'm searching for a specific group. I'm searching for my team group. I'm searching for Stamp Happy Academy. By the way, if you guys missed that, we had an open house this weekend. Please head over, I'll show you where it is. So you're going to start right over here and I'm going to stand, I'm going to type the name of the group stamp happy academy. Now there's a couple different stamp happy academies. You're going to want the one with the picture of me, Dina and Barb eating ice cream, because of course that's fun, right? And now once I clicked on that, it's going to bring me right to a screen that looks like this. And we're going to click this one right here. Bam. This is the Stamp Happy Academy. That's how you find a group on Facebook if you're searching for a specific group. But the reason why I'm bringing you here is because we had an open house this weekend. I posted on Friday right here. This gives you a full tour of Stamp Happy Academy, which is fantastic, okay? You click this, it's gonna take you right to my video. Barb posted all about our online classes. If you click this, it's going to take you right to a Stamp Happy Academy class PDF tour. Next up, and it's not posted yet because she comes on in two minutes. She's going to be on at 2 p.m. Central Time today, Sunday. So by the time you see this video, there will be another video here with Dina She's going to show you a live class and actually do some stamping. So this is the Stamp Happy Academy. This is how you find um, a group that you're, you, you follow. Okay, so once you get to Stamp Happy Academy, if you haven't yet, click on this like button right over here. Click on like. When you click on it again twice, you can come over here and choose favorites. You can come down here and you can click on videos so that those, I want all notifications to this page. So you get to pick and choose how you get notified. Now, all the notifications for Stamp Happy Academy will run through your newsfeed so you don't miss anything. But one of the fun things about this is we do challenges every month. There's a lot of fun on here. You definitely want to be a part of this. Here it talks about our open house. Um, we did a live the other night to explain what the open house was all about. You can watch that right here. This is open to anybody. And let's see, I'm looking for, here's the challenge. And I explained, the challenge is explained in all the videos that we shared over the weekend, but you can do a card challenge. You can get lots of great ideas just from looking around in here. We have 35 different comments in here. And that means pictures that are playing in the challenge. Now, you definitely want to make sure that you click on that like and you click on the favorites at the top of the page right here. You want to comment under any one of, uh, one of these videos because Dina, Barb, and I are each giving away a one-month membership to the Stamp Happy Academy. You can definitely participate in that. If you're already a member, you're going to get 
um, a refund on the last month that you paid for. So it's fun for everybody. Now, back to my regularly scheduled program. <laughs> we're going to go over here and we're going to find my Facebook group. So the name of my blog or business is a stamp above. Whoops. Stamp above dash. Kelly can't type at all. Your creative coach. Okay. Mine's popping up right there. So I could click on that. But if you've never done this, it's not going to pop up. So I'm just going to hit enter. Look at there's Kelly. This is my business page for my stamping business. You're going to click on that. Now you're going to find, oh, here's some, <laughs> here's some pictures of Val from the weekend in Dawson. We were making our teeth black. <laughs> Anyways, um, in this, when you go to this group, you're going to see some mystery stamping posts on here. Okay. And um, they're not here yet because I'm going to start posting them tonight. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. So you're going to go here and you're going to scroll down and you're going to find clue number one. You might need to refresh your screen over in the top left-hand corner. My, my mouse is circling it right now. Refresh your screen when you get here each time. You're going to see clue number two, clue number three, and clue number four. Clue number four is where you're going to post a picture of your mystery stamping card. Now, I've already set this up in my team Facebook group. This is the group you want to come to. If you're not on my team, you don't have access to my team page. But since I have mystery stamping there from this last month, I'm going to share that, show it to you so you know what to look for. And here we go. This is my team Facebook page. And here is mystery stamping. This is get ready for mystery stamping. Your clues are going to start and I'll put a time in. I think I'm going to start the clues at 7.15 Sunday night tonight. And today is February 12th. So tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time, 7.15 p.m., I'm sorry, mystery stamping is going to start, okay? And every 15 minutes, I'm going to post the next clue. So this is the get ready clue, okay? And this is what you're looking for, mystery stamping. Now, this is get ready. Here comes clue number one. Clue number one is going to tell you to get your supplies ready. It's going to tell you what kind of supplies you need. If you need embellishments, if you need ribbon, if you need dimensionals, are you going to be using designer series paper, colored cardstock, a stamp set and a punch or a stamp set and a die? It's all going to be right here. Clue number three gets a little bit more detailed. It's going to tell you what size to cut all of your pieces of cardstock. And if you can't see all the information, don't forget to click right here on see more. Oops, hang on. Oh, it just says watch for the next clue, but you always want to click on see more. Okay. This is clue number two. Clue number three gets even more specific. It tells you how to fold things, where to score. Um, it says to adhere the large DSP to the front and to the inside. This was clue number three. Watch for the next clue. Clue number four is the big kahuna. <laughs> clue number four is going to add some more details here. Make sure you click on see more. All the details are here, and now it's going to tell you to snap a picture and share in the comments below by a certain time and date, and I'll be sharing that with you in just a minute, and you will be entered for a prize drawing. This is not a contest. It is based on participation, so everybody is going to be entered, and I'm going to have a nice prize for you guys on the following Sunday, which is going to be, I don't know, I don't have my calendar, but you know, the next Sunday, not tonight, but the next Sunday. Um, tonight is the 12th. Okay, so here's how you would add your card. Now we've got lots, we've got 34 different comments in here. I want to make sure you know how to see comments. You're going to come and click on that little message thing. Yours might look a little different than mine because I'm the administrator of this group. Look at all these fabulous, fabulous cards that have been submitted for my team mystery stamping. And if you want to see details, click on it. It's going to pop it right up there and make it bigger. Go back here and click on that X. And again, these types of things work different on all different platforms, iPad, tablet, phone. It's all different, but just look around and you'll find it. Okay. You want to make sure when you post your picture that it is the right way. You don't want your picture to be sideways. If that happens and you can't figure out how to fix it, it's okay. 
but um, try to try to edit your photo in your phone and make it the right way so that it's right side up. Okay, here we go. You don't have to post pictures of the inside unless you want to. We always like to see all of it, right? But here is some really, really fun cards that were posted as for my team meeting in February. This is going to be a different, a different mystery stamping than what you're doing. So here we go. We're looking at all of these. Now, sometimes it'll only show you a few things and it'll say view more comments up here someplace. Go ahead and make sure you see all the comments. To close them back down, you click on that 34 comments or however many it is. And now, oh, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Okay, I don't know how to close it down. All comments, top comments. I'm just going to leave it open. Gosh, I thought there was a way. Oops, I just screwed something up. Hang on. Here we go. We're back. <laughs> Technology's hard, right? Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. Now, when we get to, sorry if I'm making you dizzy, when you get to number four, I'm going to show you how to add your, your card. Right here, you can click on comment or someplace on whatever device you're using. You can click like you're going to make a comment. Oh, that's pretty or whatever, right? But instead, we're going to add a picture. So here's where I can add a comment. Do you see that little tiny camera right there? Let's see if I can make my screen a little bigger. I can. Look at that. I do know how to do some things. Here's that little tiny camera. So you're going to grab that camera. You have taken a picture with your phone. Let's see if that'll work. Oh, maybe because I'm on Zoom, it won't let me. I think that's possible, you guys. But anyways, you're going to click on that camera and then it's going to, yeah, that should work. What's happening? It's not letting me add a photo, but it will. Um, click on the camera and then it's going to ask you to pick which photo you want. Once you have your photo in there, okay, once you have your photo in there, you're just going to hit the return. And I wish I could, let me see if I can get a GIF to come up. Um, that one's funny. Okay, so now you've got your photo in here, but hit the camera and then you're going to hit enter. Boom. Now that is posted. There it is. Okay, now if you make a mistake and you didn't really mean to post that, these little dots right here let you edit. You can edit your typing or you can delete your photo. And it always asks you to confirm. Do you really want to delete your photo? Yep, gone. Okay, let me see if I can do it now. It just won't. It doesn't seem to want to let me add a photo in here. So I think it's because I'm I'm using my Zoom and that uses whatever. Anyways, um, that's how you do it. Everybody that adds their cards under here will be entered in a drawing, okay? Now, don't forget to refresh your screen from time to time because when you come back to this group, the um, clue that you're looking for is probably here, but if you didn't refresh your screen, it might not show it. So I'm gonna refresh my screen right now. And now it's gonna move clue number four to the top because that is the last thing that had activity on it. Remember, I put in that, that little um, Tom and Jerry mouse. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. There we go, okay. Okay, if you guys, um, if you're not on Facebook, it's really tricky. Facebook is, the reason why I use Facebook as this platform is because it's super easy and most people are on it. If you're not on Facebook and you would like to participate, you can email me a picture of your card and please put your name in there so that I can post it on the Facebook group with your name so we know who it belongs to. And um, I'm definitely willing to do that. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stamp above.com. Okay, are we ready for mail? I'm so excited to show this mail because it's just all so very pretty. So um, Belinda Kelly sent me this. Belinda is on my team. She's actually in Bradenton, Florida, and I'm probably going to be having lunch with her in the very near, near future. So ready? Let, let me see if I can do it. It's a wobble, you guys. It's got a little wobble under that adorable owl. Is that not the cutest little thing? And Belinda says, sending a note of thanks. And she was sending me... Um, this card because she received some happy mail from me. She won a prize from the team meeting. Yay! I love giving away prizes. This is super duper cute. And I, I hope this stuff isn't backwards. I think that Zoom turns it around for me. 
So there was our first cutie patootie card. Next up, this was so incredibly sweet. Tracy Baysmore, I have to thank you so much. So Tracy was in the swap for the catalog kickoff that we did uh, last month. And um, when you participate in the swap, everybody sends their swap cards to Dina. And Tracy wanted to make sure that I had one of hers too, which she usually does because gosh, I love her. And here we go. Ready? This was her swap card using a day at the farm. This is free designer series paper from um, the celebration promotion that lasts until the end of February. There's also a matching stamp set, but look at this beauty. I hope you won, Tracy. This is so cool. I love these kind of cards, you guys. And it was so very kind of you. Thank you so much for sending that to me. I really do appreciate it. When I open it, I'm like, oh, you're so sweet. Okay, here's another really pretty one. I have to show this to you guys. I thought this was maybe a printed envelope, but then I started second guessing it. And I thought, I think she um, used a blending brush on there. And she did because this is just a white envelope. Isn't that pretty? This is from Mary Lynn Weller and Mary Lynn is from Port Angeles, Washington. Look at how pretty this is. This is some um, really pretty um, glimmer paper. We don't sell it, but it is gorgeous, right? Very, very pretty. And she is giving me a happy Valentine's Day message with some hugs and thanks for all the love you give. So thank you so much, Mary Lynn, you're so sweet. Next up, we have, um, this is actually a swap card that I got from Greta Wilshire. Look at this. <gasps> Isn't that super duper cute? This is using the adorable owls. You can get that free right now. And then here's that pretty gingham paper. Oh, and that variegated balmy blue ribbon. You guys, so many pretty elements here. And here's what she did to the inside. So I just had to share that with you. Barb, Dina, and I have a... um adorable owls class going on right now. So I have the kits in Florida. <laughs> so if you would like to get your hands on a card kit with six different cards, there's a whole bunch of goodies included in the kit, like Stampin' Up! products. Um, you can check that out on my blog, www.astampabove.com. Just look for online classes and click on one of them. It'll take you to all of them, but super, super cute online class. You'll absolutely love it. You can get the stamp set for free with a $50 order. This next one is from Anna Ribadu. And when I opened it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. I love how she took the strips of designer paper. This is a great way to use up all those strips, right? With the cute little birds. Now don't forget this bird punch is is free. It's part of the um, more celebration items. You can get this bird punch for free with a $50 order right now. So it's a really good deal, right? Free. Free is a good deal. And she is also thanking me for the happy mail. So Anna, you're so welcome. I was so happy to send it to you. Next, we have Jan Fortin. Oh my gosh, I looked and looked at this. Look how pretty this is. This is a gatefold. Isn't that cool? She used pretty designer paper to make this. It almost looks just like an envelope flap, right? I was like, ooh, how did she do this? How did she do this? We might have to make one of these, you guys. And again, she is thanking me for the favored cards kit. Um, back in December, I put out a challenge to my team. If they met the challenge, they got a whole entire card kit from me. So um, Jan was thanking me for that. And you're very welcome, too. Next, we have... oh. Elaine, I thought this was like so, I don't know, just classy. Isn't this a pretty Valentine card? Absolutely love it. She's got some Valentine ribbon here and some red glimmer paper. I love what she did with this heart. Do you remember the stamp set, you guys? Because this is really old, but it was, oh, it had four different words and it. it was just my favorite for so long. Elaine, thank you so much for the Valentine card. I just, I love it. It's beautiful. And we got two more here. This is from Shella Sam's. Shella, this is the thanks a bunch. Dina Barb and I have a carrots and bunny class that is just got released. We're using the Easter bunny stamp set with the thanks a bunch. The thanks a bunch is free with a $50 order. You guys, it's the carrot set in the celebration brochure. At first, when I saw it, and you guys saw the cards I made with it, at first, when I saw it, I was like, huh, 
<laughs> Do you guys ever look at a stamp set and go, hmm, yeah, I don't know. That's what I did with the carrots, but now I absolutely love it. And this is a beautiful card from Shella. And she also, she got a prize from the catalog kickoff. So Shella, you are so welcome. I'm so glad you participated in the kickoff. Kickoffs are the best, you guys. Um, if you become a Stamp Happy Academy member, you get a free kick kickoff as a gift for your loyalty if you're a member for three months or more. So if you want to get in on our next catalog kickoff, it is going to be in May. If you want to get it for free, you have to join by the end of February. Basic premium um, live only membership will get you that kickoff for free. Now, if you join my team, once you place your first discount order, you also get a free basic membership and a free catalog kickoff. So join my team. It's only $99. You get to choose $175 in any product you want. You have the opportunity to add the Boho Blue Mini Embossing Machine. I don't have it here because it's down in Florida, but you'll love it. Any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. This is the last card I received. And isn't this appropriate? Because this is from Shannon West. She is my demonstrator development manager with Stampin' Up. And it's a little pinata. It says, congratulations. Look how she put the little hat on here. Oh my gosh, so cute. She is congratulating me for earning the Mexico trip. So Shannon, thank you so much. This is the cutest little card ever. I love it. Okay, you guys. Go to my Facebook page. That's where you're going to find the mystery stamping. And please know that if somebody comments on one of the mystery stamping clues, it's going to put them out of order. But I showed you how to scroll down and find them. So you're going to want to look for clue number one first. It might be under the number three. Okay. But it moves around. If, if I post something, it doesn't stay at the top. If you guys go comment on something that I posted last week, it'll move to the top. That's just how Facebook works. So look for clue number one, clue number two, three, and number four is where you're going to post your cards. And it does have some clues there too. This is all up to your interpretation. Okay. So don't rack your brain. Don't let it frustrate you. That's not what this is about. This is to have fun. And um, everybody's interpretation is going to be different. Your card might be this way and somebody else's might be this way. Um, if it has some type of a fun fold flap, your fun fold flap might be here. Somebody else's might be up here and that's okay. It's mystery stamping. We want to see all the pretty designs that you make using the guidelines in the mystery clues. So thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Thank you so much for understanding that I took the weekend off to spend with my family. Oh, I've had so much fun with Valerie. She stayed overnight with me for two nights. <laughs> She's so adorable. This morning she wakes me up. I, I knew she was awake, but I kind of try to like pretend like I'm sleeping because sometimes she'll go back to sleep. And she's like, she's like, Granny, Granny, it's time to wake up. <laughs> she helped me make the bed. And then we had a little pillow fight and she was laughing and giggling. And oh my gosh, she has, she has grown so much. Like she would say things, she would say little sentences, she would say stuff, but now we're like having full-blown conversations and they're hysterical. Today I drove, we dropped Molly off. Molly lives by Lake Winnebago. It's a huge lake. And as we were going by, it is sturgeon spearing season right now. And so there's a whole bunch of ice shacks. So it looks like a little city out on the lake. And I pulled up to the lake and stopped and I said, Val, look at all the houses out there. And she goes, Granny, there's houses on the yake so funny. And then we went and got ice cream. Mm, yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going to get the mystery stamping posts ready. They're going to be scheduled to start at 7 15 central time. And then every 15 minutes till we have the fourth clue. So there's going to be a get ready a clue one, two, three, and four. And then you can set about to um, creating your beautiful card and I am going to, I think I've got a deadline. Oh, what was it? Oh, hang on a second. I think I've got it in my little um, message here so I can tell you what the deadline is as long as I'm on here. Oh, we are going to, um, I am going to pick a winner by 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Pacific time on Saturday. So next Saturday, which is going to be, 
Where's my phone? Hang on. I'm going to tell you in just a second because I forgot I have a calendar on there. Hello. Um, February 18th. February 18th, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5, 4, 3. Post your cards. Um, make sure you go to Stamp Happy Academy. Click on like. Leave a comment so you can be um, added to the drawings. Leave a comment on the YouTube videos on YouTube. Do all the things. You guys know. Share, share, share. Share the um, the videos from the open house. We so appreciate that. We're celebrating our second anniversary. So we've been doing Stamp Happy Academy for two years and we had no idea how popular it would be. And as I say in the video, it is the best gift you can give yourself as a stamper. Okay, mystery stamping. I will see you Sunday. I can't remember what the date is, the 19th. I know you guys are laughing with me, right? You can laugh at me. I don't care. Um, I've got a very thick backbone. Um, February 19th, I will be back live in Sarasota, Florida. And I've got some really cool things up my sleeve because I've grabbed some stuff from around here. I'm taking stuff back. I brought things back. I'm taking it back to Florida. So we'll have a really good um, live on the, I can't remember again, 19th. <laughs> okay, you guys, have yourselves a good week. Get on that mystery stamping. I can't wait to see what you make. Bye-bye.